Welcome to the Summit. Thanks for stopping by today here on Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams, and I am glad to be joined today by the head coach of the women's basketball program at Doan, Ryan Baumgartner. And coach, the interim tag was taken off back in January, and I realized, you know, that that was six months ago. But is there still a, a, a new feeling there? It's it's you know, there's been a lot that's gone on in the first half of 2020. I know we'll talk about that a little bit more later. But does it still feel new to you? What's it feel like? Yes, it really does, because once the season got over in uh, late February there, sports kind of ended there <laughs> at the beginning of March. So after that, we got to have our end of season meetings. And then I we were like kind of done with school. So I didn't get to see the kids. We didn't get to have a postseason. Um, so it does still feel really, really new because we didn't get a lot of time together. And so, I mean, August is coming here quickly, so it's going to be great to bring them back and get going, try to get back to some normalcy again. You took over as the interim head coach back in November and, you know, a couple months there with that interim tag. Then of course the, the head coach of the, of the women's program, uh, this is not um, an athletic department that you're unfamiliar with. You played with Doan back in 2014. You were a graduate assistant, not only with the men's team, the women's team as well for a couple of years, and then the uh, the assistant coach for the last couple of years with the men's team. And I have to ask you about that. In in both of those, being on on both sides, coaching both ways, did you see this as maybe a possible trajectory for your coaching career? Did you see yourself going forward coaching the men's team or the women's team? Or, or what did you see about your coaching career, and, and how does that play into where you are now? Yeah, you know, it's – Life is always just so uncertain. And I've been on, like you said, I've been on both sides and both sides are obviously have some differences, but at the end of the day, you're coaching kids and kids that want to learn and they want to grow. And so having that experience on both sides, the men and the women uh, was something unique, I think for me. And I think I could have gone forward staying on the men's side or staying on the women's side. And so just having that experience for, what, three years on the men's side, three and a half, and then two years on the women's side as a graduate assistant. Um, I learned a lot, um, but I think at the end of the day, kids are kids, and they, they want to be coached and learn and grow. So uh, I don't think there's a huge, huge difference there. We're speaking now with Coach Ryan Baumgartner from Doan here on Midwest Sportsnet, and I do encourage you to like and share these videos, and please do subscribe to the channel here uh, coach, the, the team two and twenty-five last season, one and twenty-one in GPAC play. Now your your season came to a natural end with that. I know there were some teams that, that seasons were kind of ripped out from under them as the playoffs went on and the playoffs were cut short because of of all that we have seen now here in the country with the with the pandemic. But talk about that. Even so, uh, you know, you you're dealing with things different now than you would have uh, lots of zoom meetings. I'm sure what, what are things like in the program for you right now? Yeah. Um, zoom is definitely <laughs> so popular. I mean, that's how we communicate with all of our kids. Um, we try to have as many team meetings through zoom as we can, so we can just all touch base, um, and try to keep it as normal as we can. And then from the recruiting aspect of it as well, I mean, Zoom has done a lot for us. It, it made it so we could keep recruiting kids, keep um, getting them through the admissions process and things like that. But, yeah, I mean, our season ended because we didn't make the postseason, but then there were some really, really good teams that we competed against in our conference that just had a great shot at winning it all and uh, just had that taken away, and it was just, just so crazy. And, I mean – competing against those kids, you know how hard they work for that. And just to have that taken away from them, that was tough to watch. Um, but I think everybody handled it as well as they could. And like I told our kids, there's a lot of uncertainty, but we're not the only ones going through this. Everyone else is. So um, we can't make excuses about anything or feel sorry for ourselves because it's happening to everybody at every level. Um, so we just got to go take it each day by day and um, make the best of it. You know, you had a, a solid addition to your coaching staff to come in uh, to be a part of this this next era, if you will, and, and not just any 
addition. I mean, this is a former head coach who, who's been a part of, of more than 300 wins at Doan and three trips to the Fab Four. Coach Gene Steinmeier, a longtime head coach with the program. How big has that been to have him as an addition to your staff? Oh, it, it's huge. I mean, just the experience that he has. I mean, he's he's been through everything, basically. Any scenario we come up with, he's got that experience. So that's always nice to have in my back pocket. And then just his support. He supported our program all last year. Um, and at heart, he is a young guy still. And he just loves kids. He loves helping them. Um, he wants to go out on the recruiting trail. We've gone out to a few events and he just he loves getting back into it. And so from a recruiting standpoint, I mean, he's got a million contacts for us. So that's huge. He can talk to a wall and entertain that wall. He's got that great skill. And then and then he's just got so many connections with the alumni base and just people at Doan. So it he's going to be a great, great asset to our program. You have a number of players, at least on paper, uh, that look like you're bringing back youth and, and and a lot of young players to the program. And I know, of course, recruiting is, has had to be a, a bit of a challenge through all this time. But with the players on the roster that you're bringing in, talk about what this, this next season might look like. Yeah, I think um, this past season we were really, really young. Uh, at times I was starting two to three freshmen. Uh, with a really solid junior um, and then a couple other seniors. But we were very young, and so we bring back four freshmen that got a lot of minutes last year. And so hopefully that experience helped them. Yes, it was challenging, but I think they grew a ton. And then Haley Heights, she's going to be a senior for us, an all-conference player. And so her leadership um, and presence out on the court will be huge. And then we did bring in some more experience in our recruiting class from junior colleges um, and a lot of, so those kids just have college minutes, college experience. So I think that'll be huge to help make us just more competitive um, from a competition standpoint because of the experience. But then we also did bring in some freshmen that have the chance to really compete for some time. I mean, it's uh, gonna be pretty wide open, uh, uh, really a new roster for us next year so to speak. So it, it will be interesting. I know that, that you took over about seven games into the season last year. So you're really not only heading into your first full season as the head coach, but you're really heading into the first full season then with this women's program. What do you see then for 2020, 2021, if we do get to play a full season? Yeah, I, uh, I sure hope we get to play a full season. <laughs> I, I, I have a lot. I have high expectations for this group. This group really wants to be coached. I think we have great kids in here now that that want to be pushed, want to be coached hard, and want to just excel. Uh, they weren't happy at all with the way last year went from a competition standpoint. And it's unfortunate that we couldn't get in the gym as much as we wanted this summer to work on our skills. But I still think this group is pretty hungry to just change the narrative. Nobody wants to be known for going to and whatever it was last year. So I just, I think this group is hungry and they are excited to bring some new people in and just have a fresh start um, and have a full season of direction and coaching. And it's going to be, it's going to be an exciting season for them. Coach Ryan Baumgartner from Doan, again, the new head coach of the, the Tigers women's basketball team. Coach, again, uh, congratulations uh, on our, uh, fulfilling that and, and that interim tag removed a few months back. Again, I, I know it does still feel a little bit new at this point in time. Success to you then this year, and thank you for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Thank you very much. Appreciate everyone watching today as well. And again, please do subscribe to this channel, Midwest Sports Net. God bless you. Have a great day.